how are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Guys, today I'm going to be doing your uh, weekly reading. And this is going to be for my Geminis. And this will be for the 18th through the 24th of January. And um, I am so sorry, guys. Last week, I did not feel good at all. And um, I had no videos uh, recorded. And I was like, I, there, I just couldn't. Um, I felt ill. And, um, I was sick all week. Um, I did go and get coronavirus tested and the whole nine yards and I didn't have it. Um, but I just, I felt like I was going to die. Um, so anyways, and I am on quarantine, uh, for work right now. So, um, anyways, but I'm going to get you a reading this week and we will start shuffling and we will get on with your reading. So I hope you guys had a great week. Um, And let's give these four. I'm in the mood for four today for some reason. Four, four is the number. I think my dog, I gave him a bone and I think he's done with it already. <clears throat> Cause I don't hear him chewing. So, all right. Angels, guides, and spirits. What is it that my Geminis need to know for the 18th through the 24th of January, please? those ones on the floor. Two. Ooh, I'm back. All right. Let's see. Hold my sleeves and get to work. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's put these aside. First card. Um, is the uh, road, okay? That's the Ace of Clubs. And there was at one time a uh, dark cloud, maybe, um, or a misfortune, misadventure. There was something that you could have done and you uh, didn't do, okay? So you had a, had a choice um, of a road that you could have gone down but you chose the other road instead. And sometimes you feel as if that, that um, what do I want to say? Um, that you wish you would have chose that um, other direction. Um, we can't always go back, guys. Um, you know, we can't go back. We can't change time, okay? Um, yes, if it's something that we really, really wanted um or wanted to do and um you know maybe it is something that we could still do maybe it's something that you could still um work at um maybe it was a decision um to not go to school not go to college because you decided to get married and have children that was me um, so, you know, that could be something that maybe for some reason you just wish that you would have done. Um, but don't dwell on that, guys. Make the best of what you have now. You know, don't, um, say could have, would have, should have, right? You know, don't hold that. Don't make that your past life. Don't make that, um, be you. You know, move on from that, guys. I know it's hard sometimes. Move on from that and just move on. You know, and start to start looking at the future instead of the past. 
then I have the eye, and that is, um, somebody is, your friends take great interest in you, okay? They love you. They keep an eye on you. They watch out for you. And that is a great relationship to have um, with your friends. Wonderful. So then I have the king of spades. And that's the bride. Okay. That ensures um, that, you know, if you are single, you're going to find that person. Um, and they are going to fulfill you to the highest. Um, if it is a... Uh, if you are married, it, you could have um, had some turbulence in your marriage at times, um, or you may be coming down with um, some kind of uh, turbulence in your marriage. So just keep an eye out that. Make sure you guys are talking to each other. Okay. Um, the Ace of <clears throat> Hearts. That's the Fox. There is uh, an acquaintance that you might meet. Um, and they are seeking to betray you. They are a very distrusting person. Okay. So keep an eye out for that person that um, you can't trust. That person that you shouldn't be telling things to. Um, it could be somebody. Uh, I feel as if it might be somebody close to you um, for some reason. Um, but just, you know, watch what you tell them because it may come back to haunt you. Okay. I have the King of Hearts, and that's hand in hand. That um, that is friendships. Um, friendships, your friendships are warm. It can also turn into a love affair if um, you are single. So there could be a friend out there that uh, maybe that you are friends with now that it could progress onto something more than just a friendship. Um, but if you are married, then your friends are very warm and loving to you and they just adore you and love you. Lily's happy life. My favorite flower. Um, you're going to have a ha happy life. You've had some family sorrows around, um, at times, but, um, overall your life is going to be happy and, uh, it, it, beautiful. Moon. The moon is next. And that's a good omen, guys. Um, uh, uh, that predicts uh, good fortune. Uh, the moon card is a wonderful card to get. That is the five of hearts. The shepherd. Uh, intense love, you guys. Uh, you have an intense love for life. And uh, strong feelings towards others. That is wonderful wonderful gift to have. Uh, that is the Jack of Clubs, guys. Okay, so that was your closest influence. Now we're going to do your outside influence. The Eight of Clubs. That is the snake. Um, there's an enemy around. You know, uh, this person is just uh, somebody that you don't need in your life. Um, it is somebody that, uh, you know, just you know, if you know who this person is or, you know, just be careful. And I think it has something to do with that, uh, that other card that we got, uh, you know, that, that person that, um, just is just a distrusting person, you know? So just keep an eye out for that. I have the Amar, the Cupid, and that is, uh, somebody's looking at you with great love and, uh, longing. They love and they long for you. Six of hearts. That's the house. Success. Uh, success in all of your ventures. Anything that you are out to undertake will be a great, great, great card. I love that card. Uh, happy and prosperous. Um, happy, happiness and prosperity are in your future. Ten of spades. The rods. And that is all family quarrels. So I think that that person that, uh, that he, they're at a distance, they don't live around here. Um, but that person, and I feel as if it might be that, uh, that enemy, that, uh, person that you can't trust. Okay. So I feel as if it's that person, a person you can't trust. Uh, it's a family member, I believe. 
So seven of hearts, um, that's the stork. And that is, you may have a change of residence um, and it's gonna be for the better. Um, and it's gonna happen sooner or later. So somebody may be moving in with you. Somebody may be moving away from your home. You may be moving. You may be moving into a new home, okay? But whatever it is, um, it is going to be for the best. You can also have some home um, renovations or something different in your home that you may be working um, on. But anyways, there is going to be some kind of a change in your residence that is going to be for the better and it will be happening sooner or later. Ten of clubs, the tower card, and that is sickness. So you may have been sick, you may um, be getting sick, um, but everything looks good. Uh, it looks like you're going to overcome that. So um, everything looks good there, guys. Uh, so just um, be on the lookout for uh, making sure you take your vitamins, drink your orange juice, get your vitamin C, take care of yourself, um, things like that, and everything will, you know, come out, okay? But you may be getting a cold or sick of some sort. Then I have the ring, happy marriage. Uh, you're going to get, you have a long and happy marriage life. It is coming to you. Uh, then I have the two of clubs. And that's the railroad. And that for ta tells a long journey is, um, you've been through a long journey now. Um, and everything looks like it's going to start to get better. Um, so that, that long journey is about, um, it's about to come to an end. Okay. That, that journey that you've been going through, um, and everything is going to start to look up from there. So that is what I have for you in that reading, guys. So let's pull an oracle card and let's ask uh, the universe what it is that they want to talk to you about. Universe, what is it that Gemini needs to know for the 18th to the 24th of January, please? What is it that? Anything else? One more. Oop. Whoa. Well, we have a slew of cards here, guys. I'm just going to pull the first four that I got. Okay, so they want you to create something. They want you to look into things, create your dream. Okay, so whatever it is you are dreaming, dreaming about, um, try to create it. Um, you know, create those things that you want. Um, a great way to do that is uh, through meditation. You know, create those things that you desire, create those things that you want. Then I have, look, um, ancestors, generations. Um, look into your, uh, your DNA. Um, I can't see specify this enough. For some reason, it's telling me to uh, look deep inside uh, your DNA. I, I don't know what that means. Um, maybe you know what that means. Um, but they there's something in your DNA. There's something in your uh, genealogy or your history, your ancestors that they want you to know. So uh, look, look, look into that, guys. Um, I don't know what it is, but they're, they want you to look into that. Um, then I have the Milky Way, okay? And that's all about perspective. So look um, at the universe for, your, for help. You know, ask the universe, I need your help. And ask them um, and say to them, this is what I want. This is what I need, you know, in my life. And talk to them and they will answer it. And then I have the desert, okay? Sometimes in life, vision, this is vision quest. Um, sometimes in life, we, things kind of dry up. 
um, like a desert, you know, um, things get boring, things get stale, things get, you know, put on the back burner, you know, we just kind of get down. Look up, you know, think of things um, as lively, you know, think of things as a meadow, a uh, garden, you know, do um, some self meditation on that, that, that helps a lot. Um, but don't, get into that staleness. Don't get into that, you know, where we're, you know, just kind of down and we don't want to do anything and this and that and this. Just um, look at the things that we used to love to do and um, do them. I know right now it's a very, very, very hard time, um, especially with being um, quarantined. We can't go anywhere. We have to wear masks all the time and things. But there's things that you guys can do, um, you know, and still stay safe. You know, um, if you love to go on a car ride, take, take a trip, just a little day trip, you know, just go out driving in the car, you know, you can be in the car, the windows rolled up, just go out and do something that you guys love to do. Take a walk, you know, anything you guys like to do, if you like, um, to meditate, um, take a long, hot bath, but just switch up the things. Don't get stale. Don't get caught in that, that, um that part of your life that is boring, you know, kind of mix it up. So let's ask the uh, spirit. Spirit, give me a postcard um, that my Geminis need to know, please. Dear you. You are in such good shape right now that we're all doing the happy dance. In this moment, you have the power to make a choice to get with spirit and co-create a miracle. You may wonder where this is all going, but if you want to manifest your desires for the highest good, you need to stay focused on the now. All power is in the present moment. Ask yourself, what are your dominant thoughts now? What beliefs are you motivated by? Do you have clarity right now? How is your conscious contact with the divine? Are you plugged in or are you trying to do life all by your small self? Get rid of all negative energy now. Resentments be gone. Forgiveness and love enter, please. You can do your life beautifully and create your most powerful future right here, right now, in this moment. Aren't you thrilled to know you have a huge cheering section here? Love and hugs always. That is amazing, guys. So remember, and I tell you guys this a lot, um, remember that you are in charge of your life. You are the ones that can manifest the things that you want. Greatness is here. Miracles can happen. You're the one that needs to create them. You know, and and spirit is here. They're your they're your helpers. They're your co-creators, right? So ask them for help. Look into yourself. You know, look deep into yourself. Meditate meditate i'm telling you um you know without meditation you know life is so hard um when i started to meditate it was just like an eye opener you know things started coming to me that i wanted and it was amazing and uh you know just you got to you got to look deep within look deep within. I hope this helps you guys. Um, remember, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. So be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising readings also. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful and an absolutely beautiful week. Until next time.